I'm taking you to three must-try street food places in Vietnam. I'm Tina Yong, your beauty, fashion and food BFF, and today we're going on an eating adventure in Ho Chi Minh City. Today I'm taking you to one of my favorite Ban Gung places. This is Ban Gung Thinh Hương in District 10. They're known for their freshly made steamed rice rolls filled with ground pork and vegetable mixture. Now, if this is your first time hearing about Ban Gung, it's a popular breakfast dish for a lot of Vietnamese people. And the most common dishes look like this. But at this store, they make special Ban Gungs with added egg yolk mixed into the rice batter. This is steamed for a few minutes to cook and out comes a sheet of rice and egg roll which is then used to wrap up the filling mixture. Inside there's ground pork, wood ear mushrooms, shallots and jicama. You can also order additional types of jia on the side which is a type of pork sausage and that's all plated with some blanched bean sprouts with mint to add that freshness, some crunchy fried shallots and it's topped with pork floss for that extra added sweet and savory flavor. I just love watching how the ladies make the ban gongs. They're so fast. One person is in charge of steaming the rice rolls and the other person assembles all the elements of the dish. Alrighty guys, breakfast is served. I ordered the dak bik ban gong with two types of jia on the side and this came to a total of 71,000 Vietnamese dong or $2.89 USD. This dish is typically eaten with fish sauce. Oh my god, this is the nuk mam. <laughs> I thought it was a jug of iced tea but this is fish sauce guys. Chili. I'm gonna pour my fish sauce on top. So Here's good. me, I'm trying to get the perfect amount of everything on my spoon. I've got the pork, mushroom and jicama filling on top of some of that freshly steamed rice and egg roll. Of course, I can't forget to add some pork floss to give it that extra umami flavor. Top it off with some veggies for that extra crunch. So let's take a big, big bite. Wow, wow. that just hits the spot, guys. I just want to eat some more. The filling is perfectly seasoned, especially with the nuk mama on top. It just marries in the mouth. Outside it's really soft. The skin is very silky smooth and it's got that seasoned filling. That's jiao I think you call it jiao wu. The jiao was tasty, but let's see what Alfred thinks. Oh, this is the best bang I've ever had. I've never had it with egg wraps and it's never been this fat either. It's quite So juicy. much filling. We've got Lila losing it in the background. Mm. Okay, Lila's trying it, guys. Yep, this place definitely gets Lila's approval, so you know it's a hit. If you haven't tried Ban Gong yet, definitely add this to your list of dishes to try. Now, let's head to our next stop. I'm in front of a popular banh mi place called Banh Mi Hong Hoa. This was recommended by my friend. And if you guys don't know what banh mi is, it is a Vietnamese baguette sandwich filled with delicious veggies and meat fillings on the inside and outside the bread is crispy, inside it's soft. It's just pure deliciousness. On their menu, they have a variety of banh mi options. They've got the barbecue pork banh mi, the special banh mi with extra mixed meats. You can even get a breakfast omelette banh mi, a vegetarian banh mi, and huh? Can you spot the odd one out? Yes, that's a burger on their menu. Please ignore that because you gotta try their banh mi. It's the perfect lunch option and even a quick snack sometimes. I ended up ordering the first two options with some Vietnamese coffee. I'm going to get a bánh mì thập cẩm với một cái thịt nướng và hai cái cà phê sữa đá nữa. We ordered at the perfect time because a fresh batch of bánh mì baguettes came straight out of the oven. Mm. Here the lady is making the special bánh mì with the mixed meats. She's adding not one, not two, but five different types of ham. Yep, there's no holding back here. And she adds a big smear of house-made pate and mayonnaise, then tops it off with extra pork floss before adding in the veggies. There's cucumber, pickled daikons and carrots, coriander, and it's all seasoned with a little bit of soy sauce. Next up, she's assembling the barbecue pork banh mi. It's got the same veggies and spreads as the first one, but instead of the ham, this one has juicy barbecue pork meatballs, and it's topped off with a chili sauce. The banh mi's are lightly toasted to heat everything up. And now, are you guys ready for the ASMR crunch? Bon appetit. 
Both are delicious, guys. The bread, I feel like, number one, you have to have a crispy bread. The baguette has to be made well, right? We've tried making banh mi at home, never as no, good. No, they're very, very generous on the pate. It's like oozing out. Definitely what makes a good banh mi store is if they make their own pate, their own butter, and obviously their bread, right? Yep. Pate. A plus. A plus, A plus. Hands down, this has got to be one of the best banh mi's I've had. The filling to bread ratio is perfect. The flavors are on point. And the fact that we're sitting by the street watching the cars go by, that just adds to the experience. And of course, the perfect pairing for the perfect banh mi is the first dinner. It means iced coffee. Oh, and boy, do they like it strong. That hit the spot. Each bun mi cost 38000 which is about $1.55. And our coffees were very affordable at 18000 or 73 cents. Which brings our total to $4.56 for a delicious lunch for two people. Now that's a steal. Now it didn't take long for us to devour our bun mi's. And thankfully, we still have space in our bellies for the next place we're going to take you. I'm meeting up with a famous street food guru, Calvin Bui. You may have seen him in the best ever food review show. This place was recommended by him. We're going to try some very delicious food. Can you explain to us where we are? We are on the streets of Ho Chi Minh City. Everybody talks about ban sao. What is ban sao? Ban sao is a little mini pancake stuffed with deliciousness. Now, if you've heard of ban sao, so you're probably picturing something like this. A big crispy yellow pancake with a savory filling inside. But here, it looks a little bit different because they do it Minh Tay style, which is the western region of Vietnam. These pancakes are made smaller and crispier. They're cooked in a very hot mini skillet so that when the batter hits the pan, you can hear that sizzle. Fun fact, ban sao in Vietnamese literally means sizzling pancake. On top, you can choose a variety of different fillings like prawn, minced pork, quail egg, squid. It was hard for me to choose, so I just chose the mixed option. Once cooked, the bun cells are folded in half. They kind of look like mini crispy tacos. In each serving, there is five mini bun cells, and the price ranges from 43 to 70,000, which is about $1.75 to $2.85, depending on the filling you choose. The bun cells are served with a mix of fresh veggies like lettuce, mint, cucumber, green mango, and mustard greens. Plus, you can add some pickled daikons and carrots too. Birds come out, there's three plates, it's 15 bun cells here. How do we eat this? We're gonna wrap it or? How I would do it is I would wrap this into like a big white one. Here, I'm just using the moisture of the lettuce to soften up my rice paper. There's no need to dip these in water. And Calvin here will tell you why. Here in Vietnam, they make rice paper so fresh. There are zero preservatives in here. Okay. So you don't need to wrap it in water as you do in the West. No squirting, no, no dipping. dipping. There's enough moisture from the greens here. Okay, let's get rolling. I'm adding in a mix of the veggies and a piece of that delicious crispy bun cell. You guys need to rate our rolls. Who rolled it better? We're going to dip our rolls in a special savory peanut sauce. Cheers. Cheers. I'll see what you do right now. The crispiness from the bun sale. Wow. Here, when it's smaller, you can get that really nice crisp. But inside, that seafood is cooked perfectly, right? It's fresh, it's delicious. Guys, he took the words right out of my mouth. Literally the best bun sale I've ever had. And because I love goi cool, it's like the best of both worlds. I hope you enjoyed eating with us today. Let me know which out of the three places would you visit if you're in Vietnam. Also, if you want to watch more food content, click on the video here and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.